Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me a math question, basically, in Corel. They wanted to do exactly this. They wanted 20 um, triangles. They're actually trying to do some on my 3D, but I just filled this in with black. So I'm kind of proud of them for trying this triangle. But this is a little bit complicated when you need to start with uh, triangles. There's two ways to do that. You could draw lines and rotate them, but we're going to do the triangle one. So I'm just going to start from scratch how I did this. And we're going to take the polygon tool and just have a three-sided polygon. And I'm going to hold down the control. Well, I don't have to hold down the control button. I'll just draw a line. Now, to make it easier for me, I'm going to rotate it so the point is down. We need 20 of them, which would be 18 degrees to make them all touch. So let's zoom in here a little bit. This is the part of Corel I like, how much it can do. I'm going to get the angular dimension tool, and I'm going to go right there, and there's going to be a node in the middle. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm at 8.21. Well, I need to be to 19. Click off that, click on your triangle, and move it outward till you get closer to 9 inches. Now, it's going to be real hard to put it back to 9. But what I would do is get it close. So we're uh, 8 one-hundredths off. And this is our measurement right here. But this is our degree. So we're going to make this 109%. We'll make it 109.5. We'll make it, let's go 110 to see if we go over. We went over. 109.7 we're at nine degrees which gives us and that's in the middle so it gives us a total of 18. now i could have gone with angular dimension tool up this line but i find it's easier to do that so now that we got our uh, angle right and our triangle correct we're going to control d and make a duplicate of that i don't know if i did yeah i did I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to remove the rotation of that node and I'm going to rotate it 18 degrees. Control D. Sometimes Corel does that. We need to go 36 and then you can go Control D all the way around. And a lot of times that happens on my laptop if I go too fast. Now, if you ever get lost, one, we need to make sure there's not a duplicate there. We need 108 plus 16. Or plus 18. If you don't want to do the math, and it's almost good that that happened, you can put a plus sign there, 18, and hit enter. But I did not make a duplicate. So let's do this one. Control D. Well, of course, that'd be 108. So that's an easy math one. And I need to just go a little bit slower. Sometimes my laptop. Uh, when I'm trying to go too fast and I actually hit on another key on the keyboard. But those are perfectly spaced apart. Uh, this would work really good for a 3D event. I don't know what he's planning on drawing. Uh, if you make each one of these a different uh, color. And let's just pick that one and let's go black. And and then I would, and I'm just going to put it out there to suggest it to him. I, I want to put my nudge factor at like 10 inches. I'm going to nudge this one up just to get out of the way. I like looking at it that way. Then go to Windows, Dockers, and I think he's going to use the object properties, he said, and go to the fill and use a fountain fill. And I'm not going to play around by that. We're going to nudge it back. Sometimes you have to click off of it and click it back. Now, what I would suggest would be to not try to use all these lines. Let's nudge this out of the way because you can do the same thing with your color now. Let's nudge it back. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Make sure we did. Double click on it and move the rotation and rotate it 18 degrees and stay up with me here. And something I'm going to do. And you could do this a number of ways. But that would be a really cool 3D pattern already. 
with something I've been playing with, take every other one, and you could probably group them together and go to effects or go to arrange and transformation. Nope. Go to effects, transform, and invert colors. So it's going to do the opposite of that color. So you could do every other one. Let's see if it'll do a couple at a time. This might be a little more difficult trying to pick them all out. Go to effects, transfer, invert colors. There's a start of a pretty neat 3D pattern. But it's allowing Corel and the percentage to figure things out like that. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.